Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is February 23rd of 2023. I've been messing with the system. I hope I haven't messed it up. <laughs> that seems to be my... something that I do a lot. I shouldn't mess with it. And I think most all of you, all of you, I think it probably said, don't mess with it, Jim. It's fine the way it is. Um, I um, am back to two monitors, both, you know, running them in 1080p mode. Uh, I do not think I have any short videos on YouTube yet. I'm just not good at, as you know, at making short videos. And uh, there's also a podcast uh, feature on YouTube. Been there a while. I signed up for it. I mean, I think everybody's approved for it, you know. I signed up for it. I don't think... I don't think that I made... I think I did make a podcast or something, perhaps not the normal way that, you know, people do them. But I just... Uh, yesterday or whatever, I saw a thing that said that... Uh, if you were doing podcast, you had to have a, you know, image, I guess, of yourself um, in, in a square format. Um, so I, you know, edited one. Let's see here. Here it is. See if I can make it a little bit smaller so I can drag it over. And there it is. Make it a little, move in here a little bit more. Okay. Oops. Oops. I'm gonna move it here. Okay. Here we go. So that's it. Now I can't find <laughs> I can't find where to uh, where the podcast stuff goes. Where oh where? Let me minimize that wherever it is. Now I don't know where it is. <laughs> there it is. It's still where it was. Um, I uh, mentioned yesterday that I installed, you know, OBS again and messed with it a little bit. I <clears throat> got some kind of a problem with it. It's something that I don't, you know, I'm doing wrong, I'm sure, but, uh, um, I went through just now and did a little bit of editing, uh, on, uh, my site, YouTube site, um, I see this, oh, I see this black or white board is here. In Kansas City, Missouri, when I went to the uh, art gallery with my camera, I took, took this picture you know, from the, that was on the gallery wall, took this picture. 
uh, my oldest daughter uh, purchased this for me a long time ago. That's uh, Richard Nixon, President Richard Nixon, and uh, Elvis Presley. It's a you know a magnet made in Japan. No, made in China. How foolish you may think that something would be made any place but China. Um, when I went out there a few years ago to Washington D.C. to uh, spend two weeks with my daughter and her husband, uh, she mentioned, she said, I bet you don't know this story. And uh, she forgot that she had given this to me many years before that. And I think she told me a little bit of the story, but then someplace, if I find, oh, if you find the link, by the way, to the story about Elvis Presley, just driving up to the White House, you know, to the gate or whatever, and saying, oh, you know, I'm Elvis Presley, uh, I'd like to see the president or whatever. If you happen to find that link, because it's kind of cute, you know, he, uh, he just, I'm not sure whether he drove himself or whatever. Probably not. But, you know, he, uh, I don't think I'm going to spoil it for you, but I'll tell you. Anyway, he just drives up, you know, and there's uh, White House, you know, security, you know. And, you know, it's like, my God, that's Elvis Presley, he, you know. And then it was like, well, you know, what, what do we do? You know, he just drove up to the, you know, the gate. He wants to see the president. They, they call inside, I guess they get hold of it, you know, somebody and somebody inside, you know, refers it to the president's chief of staff, you know. And then I guess, I'm not, I forget the details. If you happen to find that, maybe I'll do a search for it. Yeah, I will. I can do a search for it. If I find it here, I'll put it underneath uh, here so you can link to it. But, uh, well, I got to tell you the good part myself. He goes in, you know, and he visits with the President of the United States. And uh, I guess, you know, I guess Nixon must have said, you know, uh, I'm not sure if he said Mr. Press, you know, really, or, you know, Elvis, or what, but, you know, what can I, you know, what can I do for you? And then I guess Elvis said uh, <laughs> something to effect, you know, uh, you know, I know a bunch of people that are doing, you know, that do drugs and everything. Uh, could you, you know, make me a... <laughs> a narc agent or, you know, whatever, make me a, you know. And so they came up with a, they came up with a badge for him, you know, and gave it to him. And I guess he, uh, he loved that, I guess, for the rest of his life. I guess he probably showed it to a lot of people. Anyway, I'll try to find that story now. It, it'll be, there'll be probably more than one version of it. So I'll put the link below. Okay, um, <clears throat> what else? You can see my, well, our cat. There's our cat on my blankie. She loves to be petted, loves to be, uh, you know, s scratched and that type of stuff. She's got some piece of a, like skin that grow off that have her hair on them. I mean, they, you know, they're hanging on her and then eventually they drop off. And uh, Hillary, my, uh, one of my uh, daughters, um, loves cats, well, loves all kinds of animals. And she is endangered. She she's endangered herself many times, out trying to rescue animals, not just here but in Sweden. And uh, she also got arrested by uh, Indian reservation police. She was 
she wasn't at the, of course, she was at that time going to the casino often, and <clears throat> right next to the casino, you know, another parking lot, and there was, I think, a, you know, quick trip, 7-Eleven, something like that, and, uh, and it was about, that's when she was living in an apartment behind us in this apartment complex, and it was about a, I think, a 40, 45 minute drive from here, because she took me a few times to the casino. Well, she'd have taken me if I wanted to go all the time because she was going a lot. And uh, and she's very friendly, and she uh, uh, got to know a lady who worked in this Quick Trip 7-Eleven or whatever it was. And uh, I guess, um, you know, Hillary saw, you know, Stray Cat or whatever and went in and asked and, you know, the lady said, oh, yeah, I've been worried about it, you know. Uh, it just hangs around here. It doesn't have anybody. So, you know, Hillary took the cat and added it to her <laughs> collection of cats. And then this uh, lady called from the 7-Eleven, a quick trip or whatever it was, and uh, said, oh, there are kittens here out in the parking lot. There are kittens. I'm worried about them. So Hillary jumped in her car, drove over there, and, uh, you know, couldn't find the, you know, went in, of course, talked to the lady, and she says, they're out there someplace. So uh, Hillary went out there and was looking through the parking lot. And I'm guessing, because right next to it was the casino, which is Indian-owned. And I thought when I went there that, and I, I think it was, that, uh, the security out there driving around, you know, in the parking lot and what have you, and inside were, you know, casino uh, security. And I think maybe that's st still the situation. So I'm thinking that they saw, you know, it, it was daytime, by the way, too, also, saw her out looking underneath cars or something like that for these kittens. And I'm guessing that they, unless the casino, unless the uh, reservation police also patrol that, and by the way, they claim that that's the largest uh, casino in the United States. I find that hard to believe, but, you know, that's what they, their advertisement is. But anyway, the uh, reservation police showed up, asked Hillary what she was doing, and uh, she told them, you know, she was looking for, and they arrested her. I'm not sure what they arrested her for. And uh, took her to the reservation, you know, police department, wherever that was, quite a ways away. And charged her with, I don't know what it was, trespass. I don't know what they would charge her with. Uh, but... I, I mean, I hesitate to I hesitate to say this because you know, man, you know the from Columbus on, or maybe for you know the Native Americans here suffered horrible, you know, uh, you know diseases were brought over by the you know the people from you know Europe coming and everything and. I mean, the tremendous, you know, the deaths of, you know, tribes, nations, you know, I forget how many Indian nations were here. You know, we think of, I don't know, Apaches and uh, different kinds, but there was hundreds, if not thousands of, you know. So, I mean, they suffered tremendously and unbelievably. And, uh, but anyway, when... Hillary got out there, uh, it was like, you know, Hillary, uh, I don't, we don't have a car, my ex-wife, myself, and my grown son, we don't have a car, and uh, Hillary, I was having, to, once a year I see my cardiologist, and Hillary was going <clears> to <throat> come and pick me up, and uh the next day, next morning, 
and uh, so Hillary, you know, said, uh, please, you know, uh, can I call, I need to call my father and let him know I'm not going to be able, because she didn't know when she was going to get out, you know. And uh, I guess she thought she was going to get out pretty quick by posting bond or something, but the uh, Indian female sergeant, I think, or anyway, female police officer, you know, Hillary said, please, can I just call my father and uh, let him know that he, he'll need to make some other arrangements, you know, Uber or something or other. And the <clears throat> female officer said, uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not letting you make a phone call. And of course, Hillary says, well, I have a right, you know, to make a phone call. And I'm, I'm surprised that the, you know, Indian reservation, well, not here you don't, but maybe they, you know, the laws vary because of different states and different reservations, and apparently I, I watched a YouTube video several different times, not because of this, but just because I was interested in things. But uh, anyway, the, uh, you know, Hillary said, I'm entitled to make a call, and the, uh, female officer said, well, when we book you, you know, then you're entitled to make a call. And this is, <clears throat> I don't know, it was daylight when Hillary went out there. You know, this was, you know, the uh, police officer said, when we book you, then you can make your phone call, but we're not booking you till six or seven o'clock in the morning, something like that, and they didn't. And I've, I've mentioned this before a couple of times. And then, in the, and of course, in the morning, uh, you know, Hillary, you know, said, did I post bail or, you know, ask what, and the, uh, you know, said, well, you can just plead guilty and uh, pay the money to the judge. He's going to be here in, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. So when the judge showed up, you know, Hillary paid, you know, pled guilty, play, paid the money. I'm not sure what she pled guilty to, whatever that charge was, I guess. And then uh, Hillary said, uh, Hillary didn't have her phone or her phone. I think they broke her phone. That I'm not sure about. What Maybe it was just couldn't be true, I don't, but she had no phone, you know, so uh, she said, can I use your phone to call, a, you know, call a cab, and they said, no, there's no cab, or can I call an Uber, and they said, no, you can't use our phone, or whatever, and you can just walk, and then Hillary walked, I forget, for hours, and police cars coming from the reservation, you know, whatever, passed her, you know, she's walking on a we're not talking about, you know, the inter whether if she'd been walking on the interstate, they don't, you know, they'd have arrested her for walking on the inter. But uh, so I think there's a problem with this whole thing, but I don't want to see any more injustices done to, you know, Native Americans or anybody. But. Something needs to be done, and I think it varies, I guess, from, from what I, I watched YouTube videos or whatever. I guess it it varies from in in various states because of and the reservations, the rules, you know, made were made at different times for different reservations and and so it's a it's a mess, and something needs to be done, but something needs to be done not to you know something needs to be done to improve the lot of. Indians living in reservations and on reservations and uh, and of people who are, you know, not Indian, you know, going on to the reservation or going through the reservation when they, when you drive someplace, you know, in the United States. So I'm not sure that's, man, that's over my head, but something needs to be done. <clears throat> I heard someplace, well, I've, on YouTube, I'm sure, that some of the situations are, 
you know, having to do with like the, you know, reservation police, you know, they have jurisdiction over the reserve, you know, in the reservation or whatever. But if somebody, if they arrest somebody and some, it varies now, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, if they arrest somebody for a felony, that has to be handled in a United States, you know, federal court. And there are rules like that, but it, it sounds like over here in Oklahoma, at this Indian reservation, something seriously needs to be done. But like I said, I don't want to, I don't want any more injustices inflicted on them. Uh, but something is it? There's so many things that need to be fixed, and we've got Congress is, you know, taking bribes. I mean, <laughs> that's what it is, you know. Corporations and everything give uh, members of the House and the Senate money, donations to their campaign, and banks hospitals, you just, you just name it, you know, they all give money to the Congress people to, as a donation to, and that needs to be totally changed. Uh, the elections need to be <clears throat> uh, paid for by the, by the government and by the corporation, you know, like a corporation you know, well, maybe give a hundred million dollars to different, you know, and they even do it Democrat and Rip. <laughs> a lot of them do it Democrat because they want to make sure no matter who wins that their interests are looked out after and not the interest of people like me. And uh, so, you know, let's say a cor let's say some corporation or some major thing. Let's say that they give a hundred million dollars at election time among whatever. We'll just change it where, you know, they can't give it to that be a, a make it a crime to bribe, you know, somebody. And then, so if they're spending a hundred million dollars, let's just set up a system where, okay, you have to give at election time $50 million to the federal agency that uh, pays for, you know, the elections and, and things that need to be paid for, you know, so because, you you know, people are going to have, you know, have to advertise themselves and that kind of, and so take half. They're saving $50 million and they're not bribing, you know, Congress people and do that all through, you know, go to the pharmaceutical companies and, you know, tax them and tax them for, you know, this amount of money, you know, you spent uh, X amount of money in the past in such and such a years, you gave money to all these, so, you know, and do it that way. I mean, it's not a problem, just, but it, it would make a world of difference to the American people, to health care and to everything. And a lot of these people who are so terrible <laughs> as uh, Congress, you know, who there are there for the money, you know, they're <clears throat> they're not there to advance the uh, interest of somebody like me. They're there to you know advance the interest of the people that have the you know the money. Anyway, enough of that for now. Uh, I'll see if I can find that thing on Elvis. Uh, thank you very much for watching.